Okay. <laughs> so how are you, bud? We're all set up. I'm we good. finally get to meet each other yeah. <laughs> in person. Yeah. My mother and father lived in, Lich in Verdun after the war. And they lived in Verdun for a couple of years. And my mother was from a fairly well-to-do family in England. And they were living in a flat, which is like a two bedrooms and not very big and everything else. So her father actually sent her some money. And uh, that's what they started off to buy their first house in Point Claire in about 1951-52. I lived down there till I was about nine or ten. And then we moved up to our new home because my mother was pregnant again with my uh, with her fourth child, which was another boy. Surprise, surprise. So basically, I've lived in Point Claire since I've been, that's about five years old. 93 St. John's Road. Now that, it's a unique location. Yes, that's right, because when the house was, they had it built, it was built, little bungalow, uh, and they backed right onto the priest's farm. So when we were kids growing up, up till about the age of 10, like I said, until we lived here, we used to play in the fields behind the, the priest's farm. And uh, we used to try to ride the cows and they had big uh, St. Bernard dogs and they used to chase us. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun being a kid. Actually, when they came here originally, my father wanted to move up on St. John's Road and looked at a farm. And a farm was like two or three thousand dollars. Well, this was out, that was a ton of money in those days. And he looked at uh, lakes, Lakeside Heights up there. And uh, my mother said, I don't want to live up here. There's nothing up here. It's, it's very small and there's nothing around here. It's horrible. So that's why she decided they looked down by the lake on, uh, on uh, St. John's Road because it was closer to the village. Because when they first got here, they didn't own a car. You know, everywhere they went is they, basically they walked. My father walked up here to catch the train to go downtown. Uh, at Lakeside Heights, which now when you think about it, it's just up here. Yeah. But that was considered far for your mother. Well, in those days, there was nothing up there. There were little square block houses on a big piece of property, and there was nothing up there. There wasn't she like... Been, she was looking... Oh, she wouldn't have been looking at the McGill homes because they weren't built yet. No, no, they weren't built. Looking at a veteran home. The veterans' homes, yeah. When we first came out here in the 50s, there wasn't a hell of a lot. Like a big deal for us was to go shopping. Now, if we went to St. Anne de Bellevue, that was pretty cool. But if we went to Lachine, that was really a big deal because there's nothing out here. Quickler's home. Um, I still have lots of friends that have moved Calgary, Toronto, all over the place. And I've helped put on a few reunions for John Rennie High School for our classes of 64, 65, 66. A lot of people come and they miss Point Claire. It's, it's your roots. It's where you were. Um, I even get emotional thinking about it. Um, it's where you lived your life. Your parents were here, your family, their friends. It's a cool place to live. You can't, you can't change where you came from, but you can enjoy looking back at it. That's what I think about the whole thing. But, uh, and I hope that my kids get the same feeling. <laughs>